So here's the first question. What does this teacher say about Jesus? Always want to know what they say about Jesus. Anyone who rejects Jesus' humanity, disagrees that he is equal with God, downplays his sacrificial death, or denies his resurrection, they don't know the real Jesus. So what do they say about Jesus? That's important. Second question. Does this teacher preach the whole gospel? 1 Corinthians 15 tells us that the, the gospel is about Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. The whole gospel. They'll say things like, God loves you, God has a plan for you, God wants you to have the best life. True statements, but in context, we have to know God also hates sin, and he judges sin. He loves you, but he hates sin and he judges sin. He has a plan for you, but he also tests you. Regularly, he tests you, but he has a plan for you. In your best life, well, when does that happen? Let's be honest. But I think in heaven, that's our best life. In the presence of God, where every tear will be wiped away, and there will be no more sadness. If anybody preaches to you a gospel other than that, which is in the word of God, let him be eternally condemned, Paul says. Finally, does this teacher bear fruit that glorifies God? Jesus said, you prove you're a disciple when you bear much fruit. And false teachers are full of pride, not fruit. Pride. Jude, second to the last book in the Bible, wrote this 2,000 years ago, but we're still seeing it today. He said, they walk in the way of Cain. He's talking about false teachers. They walk in the way of Cain. What was Cain's problem? Well, he thought his plan was better than God's plan. So they think their plan is better than God's plan. They come up with their own plan, their own agenda. Jude says, they abandoned themselves for the sake of gain to Balaam's heir. And what that means is, is they were, Balaam was greedy. And so they're out, false teachers, to manipulate others to make money. Right? I've heard of churches locally, they have lines. You're going to put $100 in the basket, you're in this line. You're going to put $500 in the basket, you're in this line. You're going to put $1,000, sow a seed. So, so $100, you're going to get back $1,000. You're never going to hear me say that. That's Balaam's heir. And perished in Korah's rebellion. Korah elevated himself above Moses. And that's what false teachers do. They elevate themselves they make themselves better than others. They call themselves things like apostles and such. I'm always leery of people who want to be called an apostle or a reverend. Don't call me reverend. You know I said that many times before. You don't revere me. Right? As John the Baptist said, I decrease so Jesus can be increased. The bottom line is if you see pride instead of fruits of the Spirit, it's probably a false teacher. Remember three questions. What do, you, what do they say about Jesus? What gospel do they proclaim? And what fruit do they produce? 